according to multiple sources. A Guns N' Roses reunion is imminent. If it all comes together, the band would headline the Coachella Music Festival in April. Sweet child of mine. Okay, for more on the possible reunion, we turn to Rolling Stone contributing editor Joe Levy. I just ad libbed that. You did. did you, you did. Like you could have said it will all be in Paradise City. <laughs> Take me there. Uh, why would it be a big deal for Guns N' Roses to get back together and to go on tour? To this go is perform? something we thought would never happen. This original lineup, or the members of it who might be together here, Slash, Axel, and Duff McKagan, uh, they haven't played together since 1993. Slash uh, has excommunicated Axel, uh, or Axel has excommunicated Slash from the band. We thought they'd never get back together. Axel has gone on tour with a different version of Guns N' Roses, just himself. They've always said it would never happen. This is one of the last great traditional rock bands who made some of the last great traditional rock albums. We never thought, it's like Led Zeppelin, we never thought we'd get them again. When we say multiple sources, there were also people who went to go see Star Wars, and in the movie previews coming up, they saw what? Like crowd There have been a lot of hints, and one of the hints is there, there was a teaser before some showings of Star Wars, just a black screen playing Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> Uh, Duff McKagan posted uh, 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 his arm holding a base on his Twitter, but also there's, there's been some gossip. There's, there's been a little chatter that this is going to happen, and it's come from people in the rock community, it's come from people in the Los Angeles community, and now there are sources telling news outlets that, yes, they're going to reunite, possibly play 25 stadiums after Coachella, and make north of $3 million a show. Okay, and some people say it's kind of Michael Jackson's fault that the band broke up in the first place. This is a persistent rumor. Uh, Slash played at a Michael Jackson concert. He played on some Michael Jackson recordings. Uh, Axel had said that he was abused by his father. He considered Michael Jackson to be a child abuser. That was an alleged uh, offense of Michael Jackson's. And supposedly, according to rumors, though Slash denies it, Axel said to Slash, if you do this, you'll be out of the band. And that is, in fact, what happened. All right, so and Axel, out of the band. and Axel went on this tour by himself, released a recording on his own. How did it do? Axel's uh, been on many tours, uh, not by himself. He has a band that he calls right. Guns N' Roses. They play pretty well. He finally released a record decades in the making, Chinese Democracy. That didn't do great. The tours have always done well. You know, he played recently in Las Vegas. Uh, he played the joint at the Hard Rock. I believe the gross was over $15 million. Okay, not bad. So what's in it for him to reunite with Slash and others for Coachella? Uh, there are two things here. One of them is money. Uh, this is an awful lot of money. Uh, and the other is legacy. It's reclaiming their place as one of the great bands. Now, while they can do it. Uh, it won't be while they're young but it will be while they're able. Joe Levy, thank you. Thank you.